And obviously it's a terrific win on Tuesday night for you, just a case of keeping it going. Ah, look, we were, we were delighted with the, the three points. It's, like I said at the time, a really tough place to go. You know, they've, they've, Morton have been very strong at home, um, so we're delighted. The performance well, wasn't great, but all in all, for three points to get back up the road was very good for us, and then another you know, tough venue on Saturday. And aren't Bro's position in the table? That's not a fluke, is it? They're there on there, aren't they? No, look, Dick's, Dick's been doing a phenomenal job there over the last couple of years. They kept the majority of the squad over the summer. You know, good continuity coming up, and um, they've got great experience. You know, look at the last two games of Drew with Dundee up there, one one Dundee United, which is another tough venue, we'll get another one one. So we're not down in a very hard game, but they are in this league. It's probably one of your most interesting opponents, isn't it? Going up against Dick Campbell and Dugout. I enjoy, I enjoy, I enjoy like, um, yeah. Dick and Pink were here. Obviously, early in the season they were beating us one 0 We managed to turn it around and get a, a late, a late victory for us. So it's good to, to manage against these guys, but they're, they're great characters. It's always it's good fun after the game. Have you been surprised at all at how well our both have done so far this season? Nah, to be honest with you, no, no. It's it, it's a very very tight league, and you know they've got real experience in their team. They've got a strong back four, good midfield, and then they've got the likes of Bobby Lynn that can win games. He's got real quality. And I think for a broth there, their main objective will be to keep everyone fit. If they can do that, then I expect them to be round about where they are. And obviously yourself now move ten points clear at the top. A lot of talk around. You know, this is Dundee United's title now. Do you see it as your title to lose now? Oh, look. We've had a, a really good start to the season, but I spoke about it last night. It, you know, the last three years, this has been a period where you know the, the, the team has struggled. You know, I think the the first year they went down, the first sixteen games were great, and then the next twenty they only won five, and then the following year it was only eight. So we understand that this this is the period where the, the league will be won or lost. You know, it's up to us to continue this good form we're in and not get too carried away. How important is that uh, mentally to to sort of keep that? Uh, mindset that you know you can't sort of look too too much at the table it's a case of just keeping going from my perspective it's quite easy you know but our job is to make sure the players are like that as well it's always got to be about the next game you know we can't we can't start looking at the you know february march time you know the, we're in a great position just now but the reason we're in this position because we focus game to game you know the two games that have been previous have been good results but it's all about growth now how pleased are you to be in this position at this point in the season but I'm delighted, but I'd rather be in this position at the end of the season, you know. So we do know there's a, there's a long way to go. It's the, you know, dark nights, you know, rainy conditions, windy, difficult pitches. It's important that we we keep try to play as well as we can, but ultimately just winning games. Initially, the Arthur Rowe game was the, the target for Lawrence to come back. You must be delighted to have gotten back earlier than that. from past such an impact. At yeah, like Obviously, got injured when he was away with Scotland, and it was it, it wasn't a major injury, but the concern was because it was his thigh that. You know, especially the way the pitches are at the moment, quite heavy. That if we pushed him too early, he could he could in, injure it or re-injure it, and uh, you do your thigh out for three months. It's too too important a player for us, so we took our time when we had the opportunity to bring him in against Darlow. We decided not to, but delighted to get ninety minutes mm. of the night, and then we'll, we'll have a look at Saturday's game. Robert, you touched on kind of like the, the drop in form that Dundee United have had in recent seasons around this time. Uh, I know you weren't at the club then, but is there anything that you would put that down to? In terms of maybe leading at the top, and then it's, it's you know, difficult to say. You know, at, at the time, and I don't know ins and outs of it. You know, what, what the situation was. You know, you, there's different factors that can happen. But you've seen it happen. Everyone's seen it happen before. The, the team that's that's leading over to get into the Christmas period and the team that comes out leading because it's games come thick and fast. It's a, a different type of football. You need to play at times. You need to go from the start of the season. It's nice and icy. The pitches are good. Everyone's fresh and fit. You come into the winter period and it's like I said, dark nights, bad pitches. And you have to find a different way of winning. So it's important that we do that. I think we, we did it on Tuesday night down at Morton. You know, there's going to be more games like that. We go to our broth. If there's any wind at all, it's going to be blowing a gale up there next to the sea. We have to find a way to win. In terms of like the, the character amongst the, the squad, do they feel like a, a title winning squad? <clears throat> I think they're in a good place just now. You know, obviously winning games helps that. I think there's a good rapport with the fans as well. We saw that on Tuesday night. There's a togetherness at the club. And it's important we keep that and keep building it. Um, let's say we can't get too far ahead. We've got another game against Arlow. We have to win that because if we don't win that, then we're back to square one again. You have experience at your time at Hearts of, of winning the championship, of dealing with having a lead, quite a significant lead early. Is is there anything that you can take from that experience now at Dundee United? Just to make sure you win on Saturday. I mean, that's all you can do. You know, you can't you can't look at where you, 
but how many points ahead you are what it is you just have to look at winning the next game and make sure you continue doing that and I know it sounds very basic but it's true you know we have to all focus for us is on our growth hopefully we'll take care of that and then the next focus going to United